Ladies and gentlemen, what's up, what's up? I don't usually do things uh, during the day. I'm not an in-home person. I am an out person. But in this video, we're going to talk about the, the NASDAQ right here. I feel like uh, it's at a very pivotal point. I don't know if I'm ever saying that word right, but anyway, we're going to talk about it. Uh, also, after this, I got to go, uh, you know, do something with my car. I left the roof off last night. It's like a class five tsunami. So it got a bath last night. My Bronco got a bath uh, of rain, dirty rainwater. So, you know, that's sweet. Anyway, that's why I'm here. Uh, so the NASDAQ hit this level and, and inside my group, I, I talked about buying. So I'm in QQQ calls. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy. So I have the QQQ calls regardless. Now, I actually already bought them on the way down. Um, and I'll pull this up as, I, as I'm talking. Um, so on the way down is when I bought them. Now, I talked about if this zone breaks, I'm going to go short the NASDAQ. I'm keeping these calls kind of regardless. They're down. So if you even bought them right now, as of when you see this video, you will have a better entry than me. So if later I'm talking about how much they're up, this is your opportunity to either agree with this play or not. I don't give call outs. I kind of just talk about my plays in general. Um, but the way I see this right here is we're either bouncing, kind of putting in that higher low. We've seen legs down like this, right? We've had these times and, and you know, they kind of just didn't really lead to much. We kind of just turned this ship around and came back up tomorrow. So it's Wednesday right now, August 9th should be in August. Anyway, tomorrow, CPI. CPI could be the excuse that either the fireworks could just be done for right now. And tomorrow, CPI's excuse will be the reason we uh, make or break this zone. So that's what I'm watching right here. But what I'm saying right now is, back backtrack this just a tad bit. The NASDAQ has had a, a killer run up. Absolutely killer. Everybody's talking about how much they've made this year. Year to date, it's up this much. You invested in tech, you're up this much. And and, and, and that's cool. Uh, the warning shot is that's a very, for investors to be talking about that, like that's a very emotional thing to be saying because investors are usually here longer term. Traders can recognize things don't usually run up that well. And even investors should know that when things run up that much, there's going to be some kind of cool off period, whether we pull back or pull over. Uh, and we either begin the pullover phase um, or, or a breakdown. And that's this zone that I'm watching right here. This particular one, I will, uh, where's my, Where's my box is at? Hang on. Make this one bright. So if you ever see a bright zone on my channel, it's because conversations like this. Like, hey, we are watching this. We hold this zone and we're good. But when I say hold this zone, we need to not only just test this blue zone. If we come up to this blue zone right here, at that point, we are horizontal. Let's just get the, the paintbrush tool out. Where are we at? Let's say we bounce right here and we make it to there. What did we do? Nothing. We uh we essentially quit the down the downtrend. The, oh my gosh! Come on, there we go. Okay, so right now, by all standards, we are in a a trend down. We're trending down. If we make it that high, we are now horizontal. In fact, we could probably make it even just a tad bit uh, lower to there. Make it to the previous high. It's horizontal. No longer trending down. Not trending up. Horizontal. So we got to keep an eye out for that. What I wanted to do to talk about a reversal is we need to break that. So breaking that and getting up to this, at least this previous high before that, or even above this blue zone, at that point, then I'll start thinking, um, you know, maybe we're going to reverse, we're calling it good. If we do not, if we do anything of, of the sort, anything else, we make a lower high right here, anything below this and turn back down, I don't think the zone holds for much longer. Maybe one more time for an intraday zone bounce, but I'm actually watching for the, uh, the, the breakdown. My dog hasn't barked at all all day until I start recording. So, you know, pretty natural. She doesn't know how to be quiet. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Um, so, I want to make this video talking about that. Um, and, and before I exit out of here, let's talk about the uh, the S&P. S&P kind of already is breaking that zone. So, this is what what I don't want to see on the NASDAQ or why I'll enter short. Now, the calls I have, they're, they're making it or breaking. That's going to be my whole through CPI play. Uh, I'm going to hold those and trade uh, the NASDAQ futures. Uh, so that'll be my my time there. That that'll be kind of how I how I hedge each other. So if that zone breaks, um, I'm gonna go short the Nasdaq futures. The QQQ calls. I am risking capital, which means there's no stopping out. This is all part of the play before I ever click the buy button. My plan: risk and capital. I'm going to make money or take the L. Full stop. No two ways about it. Um, so if I even see anything like this happen, lower high, like hopefully that argument gets created where we're arguing over pennies right here. But if I see that lower high and come back down, I'd rather go short. Uh, so right now, kind of everything's in the zone. We're all watching out as far as the Russell goes. Still, everything right now holding a specific level that continuously needs to hold. 
Um, before I get out of here, I do want to shout out uh, one one guy real quick. Oh, hang on, I put him on put him on full screen. Um, so what I do on on a different YouTube channel is they do this thing called raids, where you call out another channel and everybody goes in there and puts in the comments, uh, "Hey, this guy sent me." There's no promotion. There's nothing. It's a hundred percent just free because we like each other. I am in the way. Hang on, let's get let's get his beautiful name out here. Give me one second. Ooh, let's scoot that thing over. How many subscribers does he have? He has 38. How many can we get him up to? First of all, this guy has a wealth of knowledge. So I personally know him, by the way. And I didn't know he was starting a YouTube channel uh, until just now. Uh, he is a coach. So if anybody doing real estate or entrepreneur stuff, you definitely need to follow him. Everybody else, I'm just asking, show some support, go in there and comment. Um, if any of you entrepreneurs out there have ever done it, if you even receive a 1099, I, I can guarantee it, you will find something from this guy. Um, this guy's killer when it when it comes to it and, and overcoming stuff. This particular video, he's talking about um, um, what's it? Anguish, an an anxious to accomplish. He's talking about business anxiety. So I can relate to this one a lot. Um, killer one. I'm gonna put his description, his his particular uh, his YouTube tag. It'll be the top link in the description. If you guys could show show me some support, go subscribe to him. Uh, and again, if you receive a 1099, I'm telling you, you need to subscribe. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I want to kick this off in in, the, in this YouTube world. I, I see this in other YouTubers, and YouTubers really help each other out, and, and everybody gets along. In this YouTube world, like with stocks and everything, everybody is like unaware that people can subscribe to more than one people. It's every like a one man show. I'm the best. Everyone else sucks. So I kind of want to shout out other creators, anything entrepreneur or business wise. Um, I'm gonna start shouting some some guys out. If I know them and I like them, they're gonna get a shout out coming up. Um, so hopefully you guys appreciate that insight and, uh, you know, do the same. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys will see me tomorrow, Thursday for the CPI reaction. Um, I go live on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Um, if you want to join my mentorship group, that is every night, um, and all day. So, uh, that's the, the Patreon link down below, or if you buy the course, if you buy the trading suite, that that's lifetime. Uh, but I'm going to leave you with this. That probably only has a couple weeks left before it's, it's gone for good. There's going to be some changes coming up. Um, there's now going to be a company kind of running things. So, um, all in fair warned, that's that. I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a good one.